As the global population inches closer to 10 billion people, Africa is still food insecure and the sufficient agricultural practices holds it back, yet output must double to meet the growing demand. In Kenya, smallholder farmers are facing many issues that include battling disease, dealing with drought and other effects of climate change, locating advice on products pricing and local markets, facing water and electricity shortages and working long hours, leaving little time for non-farming tasks. But now, technology can lessen this burden by helping farmers access crucial knowledge on livestock and crops. Meet Wilson Nyamu, a small-scale farmer from Kirinyaga County who discovered a new way of using his mobile phone as a source of information and knowledge while listening to his radio one evening. <laughs> Jioni jioni hivyo tu baada ya kupaliza kazi yangu kumu kazi umechoka unaingia tu kwa radio kwa media kusikia kitu hapo nikasikia kuna watu wa kwa media wanajiita wi farm so kwa sababu alitanya jina farm unajua mimi nikisikia farm naona ni ngombe naona ni kazi ya ukulima so nikawa makini kusikia what is happening in the media so nikasikia kwa kusema kwa na mtandao ambao wanaunganisha wakulima na wakulima wanasaidiana na wakasema hii wi farm kuingia kwa hii mtandao ni mbure we farm is a pioneering social enterprise that enables farmers to share and access information through the most basic mobile phones. It is a free peer-to-peer -peer service that enables farmers like Nyamu to share information via SMS without the internet and without having to leave the comfort of their farms. Farmers can ask questions on farming and receive crowdsource answers from other farmers around the country in minutes. So after some times nikaji nikauliza swali moja. After 2 days nikasema hii niliingia kwa mtandao wa WeFarm nafanya nini? Nikauliza swali. Swali mboga tu, swali hivyo tu. Naweza toa ngombe wapi? Nikaona nimejibiwa naweza enda fulani fulani. So nikaona hii mtandao inaweza nisaidia. Nikauliza swali lingine, niko na shinda hii kitu, hii mdundu kwa sukuma yangu. Naweza saindika aje, nikapatiwa solution. So nikaona kuba WeFarm ni kitu ambayo inaisaidia watu. So kutoka hiyo siku in Kenya, mobile phones has brought great inclusivity, progress and development and is now going beyond merely connecting people to basic communication and is now connecting farmers like Nyamu to other farmers around the country where they can share information and knowledge about their farming practices, providing them with information on how they source inputs, battle the disease or get market for their produce without leaving their farms or spending any money. So if I'm going to say that 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 I'm going Unauliza tu mkulima unaweza ni information ya chakula. Anakujibu hapo tu kwa simu na unajaribu inakuwa mzuri. Unamuliza shinda nyingi. Unajua kuna shinda nyingine ngombe analeta ambayo si ya daktari. Unauliza unaweka tu kwa mtandao wa WeFarm. Jibu inakuja. Unajaribu unaona mzuri. So kazi yenye nafanya sana mimi kwa hiyo kwa WeFarm siku hizi hata nikusaidia wakulima. In the Western world, farmers can now use their smartphones and other emerging technologies to remotely monitor their equipment, crops and livestock and better control their farming practices and productivity. However, the typical African smallholder farmer is still unable to effectively use these technologies due to a number of reasons, such as lack of resources, infrastructure and required knowledge. But now the platform provided by WeFarm is a move in the right direction. So we created WeFarm for farmers to be able to talk to each other. However, there are people who sign up to WeFarm as a normal farmer, but in, actually in the real sense, they are extension officers. So I would say a bigger percentage, actually not a bigger, the biggest is farmers. And what we are trying to do is encourage this notion that farmers have to receive top-down info, but in the real sense, farmers have had vast experience in farming. These are people with over 10, 20, 30 years in farming. So these are the best placed people to help you solve a problem in the farm. According to Njoki, to meet customer demand, focus must shift towards innovative production methods around the smallholder farmers, use of data at all levels of the supply chain, and building sustainable collaborations between farmers and other stakeholders along the supply chain. We try as much as possible to work with the county governments, uh, especially now that we have a strategy of going county by, by county. 
And before we go to that county, the first place we go to is the county government through the Ministry of Agriculture. We've worked with several county governments here in Kenya. We've, we've, tried, we've worked in Moranga, where we've had a relationship with the Ministry of Agriculture and agro, uh, sorry, extension officers in the ministry who we worked with to help us reach out the word to farmers because these are the people who know where the farmers are. Nyamu tells me the number of farmers across Kiwinyaga has more than doubled over the years, but extension officers are few, making the experts charge highly for their services. Therefore, the WeFarm platform has come at the right time. Kitu ya nyanataka kufanya sana, ni kitu ambayo nalima. Iwe na hindi product ambayo inasaidia ngombe wangu. Spokuwa ni nyanya tu. Nyanya hii na hindi product inasaidia ngombe. Lakini meshili inasaidia ngombe. Maindi inasaidia ngombe. Diposa na penda meshili sana. Kwa sababu hindi product yake, napatia ngombe, na nakuwa mzuri. Nyanya unalima. Kwa sababu inakusaidia na inakuinua. Kwa hivyo kazi yangu sana ni otikacha, na kulima ngombe, na kuuza fins ya chakula ya ngombe na mandawa ya kulima. According to him, most farmers send questions on dairy, poultry, maize and markets. Yata nikienda shambani hivyo ni hivyo na shinda, hapo tu kwa samba na simama na simu yangu, na eka sowali kwa mtandao. Na kikambili tu, inanjimbiwa, na unapata surisho. So ni watu ambao wanaleta mtandao. Mtandao imefanya wakulima wa ungane vizuri sana. Ukitaka kuuza kitu, weka tu kwa mtandao wa ifam. Sema unauza ngombe. Ngombe anatuwa na hivi, anatuwa na hivi. Unapata tu suruizo watu wanataka ngombe. Watu wanakuja tu kwa wako, wanataka ngombe. Kitaka kununua kitu mingini ambayo ya una, weka tu kwa wifam. Kitaka kununua kujua tatuwa mayai ya, ya kuku wapi, maina furadhi, ya keni buru ya nini, weka tu kwa wifam. Unaunganisho na menye wanafanya hiyo kazi. So wanaunganisha wakulima na wakulima na saindika. Once a farmer is signed up to the system, by sending an SMS to a given code for free, they can ask questions immediately. We farm, which has over 100,000 farmers in Kenya, is also in Uganda, Peru, Brazil, Colombia and India. Over the years, Kenyan farmers have complained of inadequate extension services provided to them. But now we farm Kenya is trying to solve this problem by leveraging on the high mobile penetration in the country by providing these farmers with an application that allows them to ask questions and receive real-time answers via their mobile phones from fellow farmers. Philip Keitang for The Next Frontier. All right, many thanks, Philip Keitan, for that report. Of course, we do have the weekly Next Frontier that comes to you on Mondays on Business Today. And uh, let's now move on to our Twitter poll question. We're going to recap it now. And the question for you this afternoon was, do you think changing the bus at Terminus is a practical decongestion plan for the city? Once again, do you think that changing the bus Terminus is a practical decongestion plan for the city? Of course, this this morning, we did see quite a, a number of uh, Nairobi residents take to the roads to walk to work. And all vehicles accessing the CBD from Wayaki Way, Uhuru Highway, Kipande Road and Limuru Road will uh, have their termini at Fig Tree Terminal in Gara, while uh, routes accessing the CBD from Thika Road, including Ruiru and Kiambu Road, will be stationed at Fig Tree Terminal B. And these are some of uh, the strategies that were put in place in order to prevent prevent the PSVs from accessing the CBD as per what uh, Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko had in his uh, particular plans for this issue. But let's take a look at what you had to say on Twitter. We had 34% saying yes and 66% saying no. So majority of uh, the Twitter poll um, sampling, samp uh, the answers that we uh, got seemed to think that changing the bus terminus is not really practical to decongest the city and it will not be ideal and some of your responses including from Gadu is that not at all in fact what people who have to get to the market to buy wholesale products and things like that how are they going to get there we had Martin and we were saying consultations with all stakeholders and pro planning should have been done this is a sentiment that has been echoed widely actually that there should have been consultation of various stakeholders when